Hi. So for this part, we're being asked then to find the nature of the stationary point to the curve. So we've previously seen that the gradient dy by dx then was given by this equation here, minus 3x squared minus 6x plus 4 minus k. k we found out was minus 5, so if we were to substitute that in there, we got dy dx then equals minus 3x squared minus 6x plus 9. So we know that at the stationary point dy dx equals 0 when x is minus 3. So to get the nature of that stationary point, all we need to do, well there's two methods actually. The best method I think though is to find the second differential of dy by dx. And then we'll substitute our value of x equals minus 3 in. And if it comes out positive, then it's a minimum. If it comes out negative, it's a maximum. Or we could do a gradient table method. I'll show you both methods, but the preferred method I would have thought would be to find out what the second differential was, d2y by dx squared. So if we differentiate this equation here with respect to x, we're going to get for the first term minus 6x, and then for this term it's just going to be minus 6. These two terms are constant, so they're going to be 0. So if we just test it when x equals minus 3. When x equals minus 3, we end up with d2y by dx squared equaling minus 6 times minus 3, well that's 18. Then you've got the minus 6 there. 18 minus 6 then is 12 and that's greater than 0, a positive value. So therefore the conclusion is that it's a minimum. Okay, a minimum. Now I did say there was the other way that we could do this. I wouldn't really be tempted to go down this avenue, but uh, I'll show you anyway. Okay, and that's by looking at drawing up a gradient table. We take our value of x, and we know that when x is minus 3, we have a stationary point. We take a point to the left, let's say x is minus 4. A point to the right, let's say x is minus 2. And we find out what the gradient would be either side of the point where x is minus 3. We know the gradient when x is minus 3, if we were to substitute it into this equation here, we get 0. So we know that as far as the slope goes, the tangent there is going to be horizontal. Okay, But when we substitute x is minus 4 into here, I'll leave it for you to just try it out, you will find you get minus 15, a negative gradient. So that's going to be coming down like so. And when you substitute minus 2 into here, the value you get is 9, a positive value. So as far as the slope goes, that's going to be going upwards. So hopefully you can see then that when we look at the slope here, you've got a curve coming round like this. So at the point where x is minus 3, you've got a minimum. So two ways of approaching this problem, but I do think, as I say, d2y by dx squared, the second differential method, is the quickest.